You are listening and watching the most electrifying broadcast in all of high school football today, day, 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 day. Drew Kiesper here in Brushy Prairie for tonight's big non-conference contest between your Fremont Eagles and the home Prairie Heights Panthers. We're going to turn it over here to public address announcer Sheila McRae for the National Anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would you please rise and remove your hats as we honor the United States of America by playing our national anthem and direct your attention to the north side of the field. All right, it's time for some football, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the Fremont fans there and the players on the sidelines getting ready to rock here for tonight's ball game. And I uh, want to just let everyone know here as we get ready to start shortly that tonight's broad game, uh, ball game is brought to you by Eagle One Stop, your pregame and postgame headquarters, whether it's Pizza, Subway, Chicken, or Eagle Bread, 495-3110, and DQ Grill and Chill. Get your printable coupon on our website. It saves you 10%. Well, when we win, that coupon doubles to 20%, and it's only for use at the 1303 North Wayne location in Angola, 319-4436, DQ Grill and Chill. want to give you a quick... Announcement here about the starters for Fremont tonight on offense. Left tackle, Drew Brosey. Left guard, Jacob Wagner. Center, John Armstrong. Right guard, R.J. Dilbone. Right tackle, Taryn Wills. Quarterback, Cameron Colclasier. Fullback, Dylan Parsons. Halfback, Carson Flynn. Our wide receivers are Zach Pika, Logan Brace, and Brogan Blue. On defense, our end is John Armstrong. The other end is Isaac McFeely. And at nose, R.J. Dilbone. Our linebackers tonight. Logan Brace and Colin Green on the outside. Dylan Parsons and JT McDowell on the inside. Our corners are Cameron Colclasier and Robert Skorupski. And our safeties are Jaden Zuccolato and Carson Flynn. Punter Logan Brace, the kicker, place kicker Dylan Parsons, an extra point specialist is Robert Skorupski. Our captains for Fremont tonight. Number five, Cameron Cole Clazier. Number nine, Jaden Zuccolato. Number 75, John Armstrong. And number 58, R.J. Dilbone. We are fired up here, folks. It's great to be able to play against our rivals for a home-and-home -home series because of the fact that uh, this was supposed to be a different game for both of these teams. And when the rug got pulled out from underneath, both athletic directors, Brent Byler and Roger Probst, big shout-out to them, big props to them for putting together this game here tonight and we're so fired up and I'll tell you what last time we were here I'm still trying to figure out where all the water went to in my shoes and all over my clothes here because it was a rainstorm uh, among rainstorms they were predicting thunder and lightning tonight and rain and it is an absolutely beautiful evening here at the Prairie Heights Panthers Brushy Prairie field here we are really excited getting ready for kickoff here in just a moment folks also want to give a shout out to travis williamson as a fremont grad travis williamson knows lake country realty let him help you out 316-5564 and lonsbury garage fremont grad stephen carroll and john kaufman offer quality service at a low price 208 mechanic in angola 665-5165 all right we're getting ready for this 
is a, and by the way, this is a non-conference game. When they play in about six, seven weeks in Fremont, it will be a conference game. So that's the scoop. That's word on the street here, folks. All right, Dylan Parsons getting ready to kick this ball off. And we're underway. And off the hands, it's going to go all the way and stops at the, and it's going to be a touchback. And uh, thank goodness for Prairie Heights. If he would have picked that ball up at the one, it would have been live ball. And luckily for them, they're going to get the ball at the 20. Also want to give a thank you to our sponsors, GW's Butcher Block, chicken, pork, beef, seafood, sausage, snack sticks, and jerky. They offer consistent quality above all else at 103 East Toledo, 517-278-278. Seven and A and J alternators and starters. Coach Reitz has you covered. Whether it's self storage, alternator and starter repair, and U-Haul rental, 1188 State Road 120 in Fremont, 495-1655. All right. First play from scrimmage. Fremont showing blitz. And they're broken play, but they're able to get it off, and then the ball hits the ground. It is an incomplete pass. Incomplete. Recovered by Isaac McFeely, but only if that was a fumble, and it's not. So it will be an incomplete pass, second and ten coming up. Beams Funeral Home, celebrating life with dignity, a Fremont fixture for decades and supporters of Eagle Pride, 495-2915. And the Old Mill Village, folks, don't forget, host the wedding or event of your dreams. And you want to make sure you give them a call at 480-283-7501. They are now taking reservations for year 2021. So you want to give them a call, and I'll tell you what, those weekends fill up quick. Thank you for all our sponsors here tonight. Give up the middle. Gain of about five, maybe six on the play. And so we're going to have, it's going to be third and about four on the 26-yard line. Fremont would love, defense would love nothing better than a big stop here. Three and out to start the game. Key players here for Prairie Heights tonight, Luke Sevier, Zach Wiseman, and Quentin Ross. So we'll be keeping a lookout for those guys here tonight. Get around and tackled behind the line by our Fremont defense. Great play. And it's going to be a loss of three, and so we're looking at a three and out. Ball at the 23-yard line. And way back are Cole Clazier and Flynn to receive the kick here. Ooh, almost blocked by Brace. Taken there. And the ball's on the ground. And Flynn looked like he was trying to pitch it back. And unfortunately, he got stuck just at the time that he made that decision. And Prairie Heights will get a huge break as their three and out turns to first and ten at the Fremont 48. The last time Fremont and Prairie Heights met, it was right here at this very field last October for Prairie Heights' senior night. And Fremont, on a torrential downpour night, came up winning 20-6. to six. you got to think that the Panthers have that on their mind as we come into the game tonight. The snap looks to throw. And off the hands of number eight. Okay, Ross. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna get us give assists to Sheila McCray all night long here <laughs> for the the numbers. Fremont. Defense switches sides here, second and ten. 
Motion man number 11, pitch back. And nice stick. Cam Hall with the carry, number 31 Dylan Parsons with the tackle for the Eagles. Third and eight. Now the defense here had a three and out on the last series. Let's see if they can do it again. In motion, looking to throw. Oh, he's going to take it himself. The throw and overthrows his receiver. And that brings up fourth and eight. So question now is, is it go for it time or is it punt time? And it looks like they're setting up to punt. But this is also fake out territory too. So we'll see how it goes. And again, Flynn and Cole Clasier lined up to take this. And they're going to kick it. Short. Taken by Flynn. Gets around one tackler, brought down at about the 22-yard line. And it will be first and 10. So Fremont's going to get their first series on offense. Oh, a flag against Prairie Heights, and that will be quickly declined. And Fremont will take over anyway. And sure enough, the man in the white hat says oh they are going to march off some so five yards so that takes Fremont to the 27 yard line here we like that always like that 0-0 early 10-01 left in the opening frame here at Brushy Prairie appreciate everybody tuning in and to our tape delay broadcast of our game here this evening. Coach Hummer barks at his team. Cole Clasier, first snap of the game for the Eagles. Motion, they're showing a little blitz. And taken by Flynn. Nice run. Gain of about six on the play. Want to remind everyone, at halftime, we have our FremontEaglesFootball.com, Fremont Community School Students of the Week, 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 Week. We got two great students that will be honoring here at halftime. Appreciate the efforts early on in the school year. Two weeks in, getting great reports from all the way around of how wonderful the kids have been since school has started. That's for sure. It's a keeper. Cole Clasier, he's got some room along the sidelines, and he steps out at, yep, they're going to say he steps out at the 43-yard line. Good run. He has a pickup of about 27 yards. Beautiful. Again, assist to Sheila McCray, 27 yards on the official count there. So we try to fine tune the camera here. Dr. K running solo tonight here. Doing everything. It's how we roll, I guess, folks. It's how we roll. Motion, keeper again. Nice blocking up front by our Fremont Eagles line. Nice run, gain of seven on the play. We'll take that all day long. Cam Hall with the tackle. Second and, we'll call, actually we'll call it six, so second and four coming up here. It's gonna be a give to Flynn. And a shoestring tackle by number five on that play. Luke Severe. Luke Severe. Certainly 
one of the key players here for the Panthers tonight. Fremont comes in. Their first game was a loss against number four, Adams Central. And Prairie Heights comes in with a thriller, but unfortunately a loss against Whitco. Big run up the middle. Nice run for Carson Flynn. Big first down. Move those chains. Always love that. And that's going to be first and 10 at the 12. So they can still get a first down. But love just put the biscuit in the basket. Let's just let's let's seal the deal early. I like that. Finish my thought on for last game for Prairie Heights in a moment. Give up the middle. Nice run by 31. Parsons. Nice play. And we now have a first down and goal. Just like that. So Fr Prairie Heights was down 14-0 against Whitco, came back and tied it, and then took the lead in overtime. And Whitco with a two-point conversion thriller on their score in their part of overtime to get their win. Run around the corner, not even touched. Touchdown for Carson Flynn, two yards. Let's go Eagles, it's 6-0, Fremont. Now Fremont was up 6-0 last week as well against Adams Central. As we line up for the kick, Robert Skrupski looking to pooch this bad boy through. Let's see what it happens here. Kick is up, and it is good. And Fremont will have the early lead. 7-0 here at Prairie Heights with 7-12 left in the first quarter at Hubert Klein Field. You're watching... Fremont Eagles football and Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and FremontEaglesFootball.com. Eagle One Stop, your pregame and postgame headquarters, whether it's pizza, subway, chicken, or Eagle Bread, give them a call, 495-3110. You're watching this, if you're watching this game on Saturday morning, folks, now's the time to get in there and get that breakfast pizza. It is legendary. Absolutely. If you haven't had a slice of that breakfast pizza, folks, it's a slice of heaven. I'm just saying. Alisa, Alicia and Mike and the rest of the team over there, certainly Todd Hydeus. Doing a great job. Big shout out to the folks, great folks at Eagle One Stop. And also just a little shout out as well to their sister store, Fremont One Stop, the marathon uptown as well. Kick way out and another touchback. And so Prairie Heights will get it first and 10 at the 20. Also big shout out to our other top sponsor here, DQ Grill and Chill. Get your printable coupon on our website, saves you 10%, but when Fremont wins, that coupon doubles to 20% for the week and can be used as many times as you'd like. Print that bad boy off, take it to the Grill and Chill location at 1303 North Wayne in Angola. That's DQ Grill and Chill, 319-4436. Last year, Prairie Heights, two and nine overall. 0-4 in the conference. It's a counter play and tackle after a gain of about three on that play. So that was Hall on the carry. Our infirmary this week Lance Book, out with a collarbone. He'll be back before we know it. <laughs> and Jaden Zuccolato, questionable tonight with a wrist, 
But he's in the game, folks. You can see him right there in the lower right of your screen. He's playing with the cast on tonight. It's like the Cowboy Bob Orton cast from back in the day. If you remember the old school WWF stuff. Nice throw. Complete and a first down for Prairie Heights. Gavin Culler with the reception and a first down for Heights. Also on the infirmary list, last week was Buck Bierman, but he is back. So we're glad to have Buck. Coaches said he did a great job in practice this week. Always love hearing that. Severe with the snap. Give up the gut. Maybe one yard on the play. Once again, always appreciate everyone tuning in here to Fremont. Eagles football and Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and FremontEaglesFootball.com. It is 7-0, Fremont leads, 5.45 to go in the opening frame. The original forecast said it was supposed to be thunderstorms and rain. And up here on top of the press box, you can see my arms waving up there maybe. I don't know, but I'm, uh, I'm predicting we're not going to have any rain tonight, folks. Bright sunshine. And I certainly, let's just say, uh, I, that's wishful thinking on my part. I hope it stays that way compared to the way it was here last year. Fremont quickly to the line. Severe pitch. And the blocking was there, but Fremont, just too tough, breaks through and a loss. Sheets is tackled behind the line of scrimmage, and now it is third and 11 with five less than five minutes left to go here in the first quarter. Travis Williamson, as a Fremont grad, Travis Williamson knows Lake Country Realty. Let him help you out whether you're selling or buying, in particular if you're in the market for a lake home, 316-5564. He's the man, folks. Travis Williamson from Mike Thomas Associates. Throw by Severe. Long and overshot and almost picked off if it wasn't for the Cowboy Bob Orton cast he would have had that baby but you know what we absolutely love the effort number nine Jaden Zucalato affectionately referred to from way back in the day when I coached him in middle school as mocha latte Because he's just smooth, folks. He's just smooth. So another punt coming up here. Prairie Heights. Kick. It's going to be a light, slight angle here on the ground. And it's going to die at about the 37-yard line. So Fremont will have first and 10 at their own 37. And so now we're looking forward to a protracted drive and a score or a one play drive and a score either way let's go for a score eagles 7-0 421 left in the first quarter lonsbury garage fremont grad stephen carroll and john kaufman offer quality service at a low low price stop by and see him at 208 mechanic make your appointment today by calling 665-5165 lonsbury garage cole Clazier. Give up the middle. Look at that. Beautiful blocking. First down and more on that play from Carson Flynn. Love it, love it, love it. Past midfield into the Prairie Heights side. I'll tell you what, folks. Absolutely gorgeous here. The facilities at Prairie Heights are fantastic. The field is immaculate. The corn... Be ready to harvest pretty soon. It's looking nice back in the distance there. Cole Clazier, Flynn in motion. Give up the middle. Short gain on the play by Parsons. We'll call it uh, one, two, three. Three and a half or so on the play. GW's Butcher Block, folks, that is the place to go if you want to stock that freezer before we get to NCAA football season. Although it's a little bit different season this year, 
still football this fall gotta love it stock the freezer chicken pork beef seafood sausage snacks six and jerky consistent quality at 103 east toledo and fremont 517-278-2787 good run there by parsons about two yards shy of the first down third and two Nelson with the tackle. Third and two. Key play here on this A and J alternators and starters. Third down. Give and a first. Short gain. That's all he needed. So the we're gonna move those chains. Gotta love it. First down, Fremont. A&J Alternators and Starters. Coach Reitz has you covered. Whether it's self-storage, alternator, starter repair, or rebuilding, or U-Haul rental, he's got it all at 1188 State Road 120 in Fremont. 495-1655. Nice run there. Good gain of about four yards for Carson Flynn. I'll tell you what, folks, despite the lopsided score last week against the number four team in the state, Fremont got a lot of positive vibes heading into tonight. It's something good to see. There's a ton, an absolute ton of hope wrapped up here in this 2020 version of the Eagles and it all starts with this senior class and trickles down. So we got a great, great squad this year. Really excited about that. Cole Clazier on the keeper. Breaks one tackle. Good gain on the play. Gain of about four. So now we're going to have ourselves third and two again for the Fremont Eagles. Beams Funeral Home celebrating life with dignity. A Fremont fixture for decades and supporters of Eagle Pride. For arrangements or in your hour of need, you can always call them at 495-2915 Beams Funeral Home. And of course, the Old Mill Village folks, they are taking reservations now for year 2021. Host the wedding or event of your dreams there. We'll get to the rest of that in just a moment. Oh, big stick right at the line. Number 11, Cam Hall with the big stick. And now it's going to bring up a little decision time here for Fremont. Fourth and two. They're definitely going for it, but what kind of play are they going to be calling here? Old Mill Village. Isaac Dion Packnett. They have an absolutely gorgeous, phenomenal facility on 750 North heading towards Clear Lake. Give them a call, folks, at area code 480-283-7501. Push up the gut. Ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. They may need to have a measurement here with Cole Clazier just relying on his linemen to do the dirty work. They are going to measure. Hunter Allen, the stop before the Panthers. All right. All right, so we're going to take a look here on the Jumbotron, folks. Okay, we don't have one of those, but we're going to... This is the best we got, folks. All right, let's see what the survey says. And it is a Fremont first down. We spare no expense here at FremontEaglesFootball.com and Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook, folks. Folks. So about the length of the football, Fremont will get a fresh set of downs. Speaking of fresh, folks, you got to go check out Eagle One Stop. They got all kinds of good fresh stuff as we close out the first quarter. Fremont leads 7-0 to zero and threatening inside the 30. We certainly want to let you know, folks, that it's all about freshness at Eagle One Stop. That's right. What do you think about when you think about fresh? How about Subway? Eat fresh. Well, that's right. If you go check out Subway over at Eagle One Stop, they got all kinds of great deals for you. But 
Let's say you're not in the mood for Subway. Let's say you're in the mood for chicken. Let's say you're in the mood for Eagle Bread. Let's say you're in the mood for pizza. Or my personal favorite, my personal favorite is the Rockstar Silver Ice 2 for three fifty. And I'll tell you what, folks, nothing beats that. And that's all available for you at Eagle One Stop in Fremont, your pregame and postgame headquarters. Call ahead at 495-3110. If you get a chance as well, you can check out the whole menu. Their entire menu is available at eaglesonestop.com. And whether you spell it eagle or eagles, doesn't matter. It still goes to the same place. Eaglesonestop.com, eaglesonestop.com. You can check out the menu, see what your pleasure is on this beautiful day. And I'll tell you what, had their uh, fireside chicken pizza the other day, and holy smokes, that was delish. One of my personal favorites, though, is the Philly cheesesteak pizza with the uh, garlic aioli base. It's a thing of beauty. you got to get yours, folks, at Eagle One Stop. Again, that's Eagle One Stop, 495-3110. Seven zero at the end of one, getting ready to start session number two here at Brushy Prairie. Give you a quick shout of, or show of the corn out back there. Beautiful corn, and then way, way in the distance, bear, between the trees, you can see the beans. Prairie Heights does it right here, that's for sure. Ocean Man. Flynn and a first down for the Eagles appreciate your patience folks as I'm <laughs> trying to work the camera here you know I don't have my special crew with me which reminds me I got to give a huge shout out last week to my camera crew Tori Geller, Alexis Keener, and Avery Duncan. Absolute crackerjack job by the camera crew last week against Adam Central in the Adam Central game. Beats one tackle and tackled shortly thereafter. About a two yard gain there for Parsons. Yeah, you can tell I definitely need my crackerjack staff here tonight as I try to man everything up here. All right, 10.56 left, Fremont threatening inside the 15 yard line. And not much, I don't know if Flynn tripped or what happened there, but it's gonna be third. So, so far in this game, not very many times has Fremont been third and third and beyond five. It's about third and seven here, so let's see what they're gonna dial up here. The ball is at the 12 yard line. You're gonna try to put the biscuit in the basket here, or are you gonna go for the first down opportunity? I say get the score. Let's see what happens. The snap fake. Looks to throw. Complete. No, oh, incomplete. Off the hands of number 26, Logan Brace. So fourth and six coming up here. We're going to give Parsons a shot to pooch it through, or is... Fremont going to try to just go here. Let's see. Looks like they're going to try to go. Big key play for the Eagles coming up. All right. Here we go. Fourth and six is what it's all about. The snap, looking to throw, the keeper, breaks one tackle, gets the first and more, touchdown! Cameron Colclazier on the 12-yard keeper scamper. And it's 13-0 to zero in favor 
You have your Fremont Eagles. Nice play. And Robert Skurupski. Looking for the point after. And the kick is up and no good. Thank you very much, but it almost went through very close. But that's gonna bring up It is now 13 to 0 with 9.56 left. There we go. Get a little zoom in there. There we go. 13 6. Your Fremont Eagles lead with 9.56 left in the first half, half at Hubert Klein Field. You're watching Fremont Eagles football on Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and Fremont Eagles football. Gorgeous night. Big shout out to our cheer squad over there. Rocking and rolling. Leading the charge. You know, just to let you know, folks, if you didn't know already, our Fremont Eagles cheer squad, best in all the land, and they are undefeated. They have never lost in MMA action, never. And that's just how good we are here at Fremont, baby. Got to love it. 13-0, left here before the end of the first half. It's great to see a nice contingent of Fremont Eagles here tonight. And I certainly, again, can't say enough about the efforts of athletic directors Brent Byler and Roger Probst, of course, they have a long history, worked together for years and years and years with when Mr. Byler was over at Fremont. And a uh, great opportunity for a great night of football action here. Short kick. Return to the 35, to the 40, great return. And it is gonna be first and 10, great return for Phillip Sheets, first and 10 at the 41. Nice job. Try to get my camera ready to rock here for you folks, as always. GW's Butcher Block, whether it's chicken, beef, pork, seafood, sausage, snacks, sticks, or jerky, above all, they offer consistent quality at 103 East Toledo and Fremont. 517-278-2787. Looking to throw, off and oh! It is an incomplete pass. But boy, oh boy, did Colin Green want to get his paws on that bad boy. Second and 10 coming up. Once again, our apologies for the inability to get the live broadcast up and running, folks. Unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be tonight. Too many technical difficulties. Hope to get those worked out before our road game at Fairfield in a couple weeks. But we'll have a nice solid signal for our game next week as Fremont hosts Antwerp, Ohio. Big throw and a stick and a catch. It was actually off of one player and into the paws of another. And what looked like an incompletion turns into a completed pass and some good yardage. And now third and three, what well, was gonna be third and 10. Wow. Nice play, they drew it up the whole way, I know it. All right, maybe not, but that was a great, great opportunity. Sometimes the ball bounces your way and that was an example of that happening for them. Third and three coming up. Big key play for the Eagles here. Got to get the defense. Big stop. Roll out, throw. Oh, almost tipped away by Brace. Maybe he got a hand on that. 
Nice job. Claxton nearby as well. So now fourth and three. And they're looking to punt. All right, a little bit of disarray here from Fremont trying to figure out what they're gonna do. Are they gonna go for it? Time out, time out, time out. And the ball's lost on the ground. And he's gonna have his knee down on the ground and therefore Fremont is gonna have the ball at the 36 yard line. So broken play and Fremont will get that. Nice job. So first and 10 coming to, wait, we have our, is there a flag on the field? Let's see what happens here. Or is it just a discussion as to where the ball is gonna be placed? Not sure here at this point. Long discussion with the officials here. If it stands, Fremont will have a first and 10 at the Prairie Heights 37. I don't see a yellow hanky on the field. Oh, it's a first down. That's going to be an illegal substitution call on the Eagles. Oh, my goodness. And so because of the penalty. For a first down. And a huge break for Prairie Heights. As the substitution penalty gives them five yards and a first down. Instead of Fremont being first and ten on the Panther 37, it's now... Prairie Heights first and 10 on the Fremont 48. Huge break for PH HS. 8.54 left here before halftime. The snap severe. The give and almost stopped him but did finally stop him. As several Eagles in on the tackle there. Nice job. Number 51 JT McDizzy among others with the loss of two on the play and it's going to be a timeout Prairie Heights second and 12 at the 50 when we come back after this timeout with 829 left before halftime Fremont leads 13 to 0 you're watching Fremont Eagles football on Fremont Athletics live on Facebook and FremontEaglesFootball.com a and J alternators and starters. Coach Reitz has you covered. Whether it's self-storage, alternator, starter repair, or rebuilding, or U-Haul rental, if you need any of those things, Ryan Reitz is the man to see. Coach Reitz can be found at 1188 State Road 120 in Fremont 495-1655. I certainly want to extend another thank you to Coach Reitz for all the efforts he did the first week of school to make sure we got the big eagle up to welcome all the young kids and our veteran students back to school this year. Greatly appreciated. Coach Reitz, great job as a coach on the Fremont Middle School team. Also the youth league commissioner as it will. And they've got football coming up here. Really, really happy. It, it just, all in all, and of course his wife on the school board as well, the Reitz family, just, they bleed red and black, that's for sure. So, folks, if you're going to patronize a business, it doesn't get any better than A&J alternators and starters right there in Fremont. And uh, really appreciate their support all the way around of Fremont Athletics and just Fremont in general, folks. Great folks. All right. Second and 10. Right at the 50. Just shy, maybe. Severe with the take. Looks to throw long and overshoots his receiver. Pass intended for number eight. And so it's going to be third and 12 coming up. Beams Funeral Home, celebrating life with dignity and a fixture for decades as supporters of Eagle Pride, 495-2915. And the Old Mill Village, they are an absolute one-of-a-kind, folks. On 750 North in Fremont, on the way to Clear Lake, 
host the wedding or event of your dreams, taking reservations right now for year 2021, 480-283-7501. Third and 12, severe throws, complete, first down and more. And so they got 16 on the play, first down for Heights. Number 21, Gavin Culler. Gavin Culler. For the Panthers. Nice play for Heights. You know, Fremont would love nothing better than to get a big stop here, but they're going to have to do something here pretty quick. They're in, getting into Fremont territory pretty deep here. Oh, right off the hands of number 81 off his face mask and helmet, I believe, as well. That's going to bring up second down and 10 coming up. 7.57 left before halftime. Also, we'll be talking as well about the other... Sports programs here for the fall at halftime. And got some news and notes about halftime of next week's game. And some news and notes about next week's game. <laughs> we'll do all that at halftime. Throw and off the hands. Off the hand of number 11. It's going to bring up third down coming up. All right. Key defensive play. Last time was third down. They gave up that big 16-yard reception. Can't allow that now. Big key play. Defense got to step up big. Severe looks to throw again and throws behind his receiver. And so it's going to end up being fourth down now. Being that they're at the 34-yard line, one would venture to say that they're going to go for it here. I wouldn't imagine you'd want to punt in this place, but you never, never know. So here they go. Seven forty-nine. Not much time. Falling off the clock here as. The ball's thrown and incomplete, stops each time. All right, big key play by the defense. Severe looks to throw. Big throw up top and almost intercepted. But not, and that's going to be a nice, actually that's a better play anyway because if he would have caught that and been pushed out of bounds, Fremont would have been at about the three-yard line. So instead, Fremont gets it first and 10 at their own 34. So that's a bend, but don't break play by our defense. 13-0 here. You're watching Fremont Eagles football and Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and FremontEaglesFootball.com. First and 10 for the Eagles. Give up the middle. Nice, nice movement there by Parsons. He's going to get eight yards on the carry, chewing up some turf. Quarterback, defensive back, Luke Severe with the stop as Parsons gets into the secondary here. 7-19 and counting here before halftime. Yeah, Fremont opened up last week against Adams Central with a nice long drive, 70 yards and a score to take the lead against the number four team. It really gave us a great look as kind of some foreshadowing as to some of the great things that we can expect from Fremont this year. Look at Cole Glazier. He's got lots of room to run. He's down the sideline, and they ain't going to catch him unless the sideline does. Touchdown, Fremont. Beautiful play.
And it is now 19 to zero for the Eagles. 60 plus yard run. He's got some wheels on him, does number five there. Fantastic. 19 to zero, 649 left. And now they've got Parsons in for the extra point on this particular play. Nope, they're gonna go for two, try to make it 21. Roll out, Cole Clazier throw into the back of the end zone and the two point conversion is good. And that's Logan Brace. And now your Fremont Eagles lead, Prairie Heights, 21 to zero with 6.49 left. In the second quarter here at Hubert Klein Field, you're watching Fremont Eagles football on Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and FremontEaglesFootball.com. All right, folks. Let's give a big shout out to our fans. Here's the fan cam, folks. The Fremont fan cam. We don't quite have the budget to do like kiss cam and stuff like that. That'd be really cool if we could do that. But there we go. Our Fremont Eagles faithful here supporting our Eagles tonight. Love it. Also, they were there supporting last night as Fremont faced off the middle school. 7th and 8th grade team faced off against Edgerton, Ohio in a thriller. Edgerton struck first. Fremont struck back, tie ball game all the way into the final minute of the game and Edgerton with a heartbreaker gets a score with about 40, 35, 40 seconds left in the game. And Fremont even then still had a chance, a long bomb pass play just off the receiver's fingertips it would have been a touchdown for sure. But all in all, even though it was a loss, it was an absolutely great game. Fantastic play, and that gives this varsity squad a lot of hope for the future as our 7th and 8th graders played a really good game last night. So here's the kick now from Parsons. Return, 30. Cuts across and finally brought down at the 33 yard line. 83 for Fremont with the tackle. Six forty four left. In the first half. Ball's on the ground, on, and they will get it. That was close, but it's still a loss, and that's going to put them at their own 30, or excuse me, 27 yard line. Want to give a big shout out to all the runners for Fremont, both middle and high school will be coming right here to the same place Saturday morning. Or if you're watching now on Saturday, this morning, or maybe it already started, maybe it's already over. <laughs> the Panther Invitational. Always one of the biggest cross country events in the area. Looking to throw, gets breakthrough, and off the pause. 
of number 11. And I'll tell you what, John Armstrong with a lot of pressure on Severe. Checking in the distance here. There's a few clouds coming, but it does look like, at least hopefully, the weather holds off tonight. And we keep just this beautiful, gorgeous night here at Brushy Prairie. Nothing like some 1A football baby up here in the northeast corner. He's going to scramble. He's going to be tackled behind the line. A group effort as a gaggle of eagles brings him down. And it's going to be fourth and about 21 coming up. Boy, the defense really stepping up tonight, baby. Absolutely love that. Cole Clazier and Flynn standing just behind the 50. And the kick off the side. Takes Flynn, cuts back, beats a couple tackles, and gets about 10 or 11 more back on that play. Kind of a dangerous spot to take the ball, but he does anyway. And it turns out for him there. First and 10, ball at the Prairie Heights 39. That is some great field position here to start this drive with four, excuse me, five 48 left. Before halftime, Fremont with a commanding 21 to zero lead. A year ago in the monsoon here at Brushy Prairie, Fremont won that game 20 to six. Remember, these two teams meet later this year in the conference game. This is a non-conference version. Flynn, first down and more into the secondary. And we got a nice run there. Carson Flynn, 13 yards to the 26-yard line. Eagle One Stop, your pregame and postgame headquarters, whether it's pizza, subway, chicken, or eagle bread. Give them a call at 495-3110. DQ Grill and Chill. Get your printable coupon on our website that saves you 10%. But when Fremont wins tonight, that coupon doubles to 20%. You can use it all week long at the 1303 North Wayne location in Angola. That's DQ Grill and Chill, 319-4436. Cole Clazier. Give. Good blocking. Oh, and he just slips down there at about the 21-yard line. Good gain, five yards. Probably wasn't going to get much more than that anyway, so that's all right. Second and five. 450 and counting here before halftime. Travis Williamson, as a Fremont grad, Travis Williamson knows Lake Country Realty. Let him help you out whether you're selling or buying. In particular, if you are in the market for a lake home, I'll tell you folks right now, he is the best in the business. And you can call him at 316-5564. Travis Williamson Realtor, Mike Thomas Associates. Give up the middle. Good gaping hole, almost a first down. Might be close for Carson Flynn. They're gonna say, yeah, third and about a half a yard coming up. Fremont taking their time. They kind of have that luxury right now. Lonsbury Garage, Fremont grad Stephen Carroll and John Kaufman offer quality service at a low price. Folks, they do you right. 208 Mechanic in Angola, 665-5165. I've taken several vehicles there, and they always do a good job. Lonsbury Garage. It's going to be a throw, and off the fingertips intended for Brace. Fourth and, we'll say, 14 or 15 inches. 
Maybe a little more. I don't know. Either way, it's fourth and short. <laughs> so the incomplete pass stops the clock with 3.38 left. Now the scoreboard says fourth and two, but it's not even one. So, But it doesn't matter at all if Fremont can't get whatever it is on this particular play. Four wide receivers. Motion. He's going to keep it. Cole Clazier spin to Rooney. And he is down. It is first and goal at the two. Nice play. We'll also be talking a little bit later about some of the other sports. We're kind of at a strange time where we have all professional sports playing about the same time here. All right, big bunch formation. The give and a score. Touchdown, Dylan Parsons, two yards. And Fremont now has the lead 27-0. Two fifty-seven left before halftime. Kick coming up for Robert Skurupski. Kick is up and it is no good. Looks like somebody got a paw on it for the Panthers. And with 2.57 left before halftime, Fremont with a commanding 27-0 lead here at Hubert Klein Field. You are watching Fremont Eagles football on Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and Fremont Eagles football. That. Coach Thomas talking to his unit on the sideline there. Fantastic addition to the coaching staff here at Fremont. We just got some great coaches all the way around, folks. We're really excited about the direction of where Fremont's going here. And we knew, again, I mean, last week was, uh, if you just took it at face value with the score, Fremont losing 43-12 to against the number four team in the state, you might be thinking to yourself, well, you know, here we go again. But the fact is that if you really got into the minutia of what was happening in the game, you saw a lot of very, very promising things last week, which gave us some clues as to the direction of where we're heading this year. And I'll tell you what, it really starts with the heart and intensity above anything else. Once you get that and you follow that up with execution and excellence, that means that there are some very beautiful things that are going to happen for your program and certainly for the Fremont Eagles tonight in this first of two home-and-home -home rivalry matchups against the Prairie Heights Panthers. Fremont couldn't ask for a better first half. 27-0 in favor of your Eagles as Parsons gets ready to kick this ball off here. And it'll be taken, short kick, number 14 at about the 25 yard line. And he'll be down at about the 38. Sheets with the return. And the vocal stylings of Sheila McRae in the house. Tell you what, she is definitely she bleeds red and black for these Panthers like nobody I know. She is a 
fabulous ambassador for the Prairie Heights, Brushy Prairie community, that's for sure. She is just a lovely person. What an awesome, awesome person. Big throw coming up downfield. They went for it. And out of the reach of two receivers. Ooh, that was close. Tell you what, I don't blame him. Go for the gusto. So far, that's been there for Heights. They just can't quite get that connection just right. But I'll tell you, once they finally do, that Fremont defense has not been there. That's been one of the few mistakes that Fremont's made tonight is that secondary just seems to be a couple steps behind. So like I say, at some point, I would imagine that Severe is going to be putting the biscuit in the basket here. Run, and we got a tackle gain of about seven, maybe close to eight on the play. Two and a half minutes left before halftime. GW's Butcher Block, whether it's chicken, pork, beef, seafood, sausage, snack sticks, or jerky, deli meats, pickles. I'll tell you what, they got some great barbecue sauces there. They got all kinds of good stuff there. Cheeses, my goodness. But above anything else, they have consistent quality. Talk more about them and brag them up in a little bit more in a minute. A big swarm. Nice job. Eagles get a loss two on the play. Coming up to third and about five, or fourth and about five on the play here. And I'll tell you what, if you uh, if you haven't gone over to GW's Butcher Block lately and stocked up, you need to do that. Plain and simple. You need to get over there and load up. They got the great boxes. They got the beef box. They got, oh, the man, their triple thick bacon is unreal, folks. I call that meat candy. Let's just be honest. Bacon is meat candy, and GW's has the best. 517-278-2787 in Fremont. Did someone get a hand on that, possibly? And it's a fair catch taken by Flynn. It'll be first and 10 at the 27-yard line. So with 119 left before halftime, Fremont will get the ball here. A&J alternators and starters. Ryan Reeds has you covered. The coach offers self-storage, alternator and starter repair, and U-Haul rental. Call them up 495-1655, or stop by and see them at 1188 State Road 120. That's just west of the Moose Lodge on the south side of the street. A&J alternators and starters. Fremont looks like they're gonna try to score again. At least right now, they got five wide. Keeper, and no go there. Good defense as the line with a nice stop there on the tackle. Not often does a defensive lineman get a stop if Cole Clazier scrambling here. So that was a great defensive play by Heights. And Fremont now just electing to let the clock roll milk it down under 50 seconds left here before halftime shotgun again showing four wide they're going to throw looks to throw and incomplete intended for Claxton 43 excuse me 34.3 seconds left before halftime that might have been one of those kind of feelers there, that play there, just to see. Maybe catch him off guard, get another score. Heights was, for the most part, ready for that, just in case. Third and nine coming up. Four receivers again. Shotgun. Motion, give to Flynn, and he is wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage. Beautiful defensive play. Cam Hall. His name has been mentioned all night long. And that will be the final play of the first half. 
as they just let the clock roll out. And there we go. And so your Fremont Eagles have a halftime lead here at Hubert Klein Field on the campus of Prairie Heights High School. It is 27 to zero. Fremont leading this game against the rival Panthers. You're watching Fremont Eagles football on Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and FremontEaglesFootball.com. We'll take a break and be back in a moment. We are back. It is Fremont Eagles football on Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and FremontEaglesFootball.com. It is 27-0 on an absolutely gorgeous night as your Fremont Eagles with a huge lead against rival Prairie Heights here in Brushy Prairie. Now, Fremont won this game here a year ago, 20-6 in a torrential downpour. Now we have the total opposite of that. It was actually calling for thunderstorms here tonight, and they are nowhere to be found. It is an absolutely beautiful night. And certainly on the field as well, as our Eagles have done everything they need to do and more with very few mistakes, leading 27 to 0. Want to just talk a little bit here, some of our halftime news and notes. All fall athletes will be honored at halftime of next week's home game against Antwerp, Ohio. So just want to make sure that is all fall athletes other than the football team. So uh, anyone involved uh, uh, in golf, cross country, uh, tennis, uh, cheer, they will be honored at halftime, uh, our seniors. So that will be next week, halftime of the Antwerp, Ohio game as Antwerp comes into Fremont next week. Speaking of, Antwerp is a replacement for our team, and so a great opportunity to get another win uh, next week. Um, bad news, though, is that next week was supposed to be homecoming, and unfortunately, there will be no homecoming uh, this year. That's a, that's a bummer, but of course, with all the things going on with COVID protocol and things of that nature, it's certainly was expected, but disappointing. However, some good news is Athletic Director Roger Probst is hoping to announce a new opponent for our Week 9 contest. We were originally scheduled to travel to Decatur the week before sectional start, and with Michigan canceling football this year, we have an opportunity uh, we lost an opportunity to play a game there. However, Coach Probst says we are really close to getting the dotted line signed and having a new opponent. Don't know who that is just yet. We'll find out. And that's uh, so that'll be great news on that front. Let's give a big shout out to our FremontEaglesFootball.com, Fremont Community School students of the week, 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 week. We have two phenomenal students. Cohen Summers, Mr. Pentecost's fifth grader, has started off middle school on a great note, doing a wonderful job in class, and that's Cohen Summers. And our other one, Aiden Urbus. Aiden is a great mathematical thinker in Mrs. Box class. So fantastic there as well. So a couple middle school students honored tonight as your Fremont Eagles football.com Fremont Community School students of the week, 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 week. Also, this week, we're going to honor the Fremont Eagles football.com Fremont Community Schools teachers of the week. That's right. And who wins that award? All of them. All of the teachers of Fremont Community Schools have done an absolutely stellar job under these stressful circumstances putting in some phenomenal learning opportunities for both our in-class and our online learners and I'll tell you what folks it takes a strong dedicated team of folks to do what these folks have done so certainly we want to give a big shout out to all of our FremontEaglesFootball.com Fremont Community Schools teachers of the week 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 and you know what 
knowing the quality of teachers they have here at Prairie Heights, I would bet that they are going to give them that honor as well here. Teachers of the Week, just some great folks all the way around. We just got great teachers in general in Steuben County and LaGrange County. So something to be very proud of. And uh, tell you what, if, if uh, you can't find a quality education here in this area, you're not going to find it anywhere, folks. That's for sure. Other high school games tonight, well, one that's not going on is Leo against Angola. The unfortunate news struck the Angola football program this week as the team, the entire team, was told they had to go into quarantine because a they played DeKalb last week and a DeKalb player tested positive for COVID. And as a precaution, the entire team had to take a seat this week. Absolute devastating news and a bummer but we know they're going to bounce back so the leo and angola game was canceled tonight uh, another game on the slate here a game of area interest or at least a fremont interest osceola grace is uh, going to be playing at fairfield tonight now osceola grace was our scrimmage opponent two weeks ago and they're traveling not too far away from, from uh, Osceola to Goshen to play Fairfield. Fairfield, this will be their first game as they had week one off because of COVID protocol established in Elkhart County. And also another reason why this is a game of area interest is because Fremont will be traveling to Fairfield in two weeks. So we certainly have a lots of interest here to kind of see and gauge where the Fairfield Falcon program is when Fremont heads over there to Goshen at that time. So certainly a lot of interest from our Eagles. Let's do a little spin rooney here and take a look at this gorgeous sky, folks. Absolutely beautiful here at Brushy Prairie. Absolutely gorgeous. So the Fremont High, uh, excuse me, Fremont Middle School had a heartbreaker game last night. It was a season opener as they lost 13 to 6. It was a fantastic effort by our Fremont Eagles, but unfortunately they came up short as they were trailing 6 to 0, came back, tied the game, and right down to the wire, Edgerton scores inside of 1 minute left, but Fremont still had some chances and took two long shots and one of them a long throw down the field just off the fingertips and Fremont comes up just short but all in all it was a great great effort by our Fremont Eagles something we're very very proud of and we look forward to continued excellence of our Fremont football team and that was your Eagle One Stop DQ Grill and Chill halftime program the kick is up and Little decision making had to be made there. Claxton comes up with it. It breaks one tackle, breaks two, finally brought down. And it will be first and 10 at the 22 yard line. We'll talk about some of the other Fremont programs here as we continue into the third quarter and beyond. So we continue on. Eagle One Stop, your pregame and postgame headquarters, whether it's pizza, subway, chicken, eagle bread, chicken livers and gizzards, or Rockstar Silver Ice 2 for 350. You gotta check it out at Eagles One Stop in Fremont. First play from scrimmage in the second half. 27-0 Fremont lead. Looking to throw. Cole Clazier long and caught down the sideline. No one's gonna catch him. Touchdown, Fremont! Just like that. 77 yards. Logan Brace. From Cole Clazier, baby. Fantastic. 33-0, Fremont leads and opens up the first play from scrimmage with a score. And so the kick attempt 
coming. It's up, and Skorupski off! It's a doink. It's a single doink. No double doink on that one. And so Fremont, right away, puts the biscuit in the basket. 77 yards, Cole Clasier to brace. And Fremont leads 33-0. You're watching Fremont, Ath Fremont Eagles football on Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and FremontEaglesFootball.com. Well, I'll tell you, folks, as far as Fremont goes, we're extremely happy about how this game has been going with a huge 33-0 lead. But on the other side, we've been there, folks. We've known what that's like to be on the other side, the receiving end of that. We certainly feel for, for that. But I'll be honest, it feels really good to be on the right side of that scoreboard, especially in that fashion. Not very often do you see Fremont running away with the game, especially this early. DQ Grill and Chill. Get your printable coupon on our website. After we win tonight, that coupon will be 20%. You have to use a printed coupon, and you can only use it at the 1303 North Wayne location in Angola. That's DQ Grill and Chill. Get 20% off your total order. Big way to celebrate. Call ahead. Get that DQ ice cream cake. Ice cream and cake. Do the ice cream and cake. Ice cream and cake. Do the ice cream and cake. Love it. Call ahead. 319-44-36. to 0 After a 77-yard touchdown reception, Cole Clasier to brace. We've known for a long time that that connection was going to be there, and it certainly was there. Big tackle. Out of bounds. That was Panther number 56. 24 with the tackle on the play. 11.37 left in the third quarter. We're only 23 seconds into the quarter, and Fremont already putting the biscuit in the basket. Travis Williamson, as a Fremont grad, Travis Williamson knows Lake Country Realty, folks. Let them help you out, whether you're selling or buying. In particular, if you are in the market for a lake home, folks, there is none better. Call him up at 316-5564. You will be very happy that you did. Severe throw, complete, and nice tackle by Jaden Zuccolato with the Cowboy Bob Orton. Cast, love that. Now we used to have Big Daddy Kenny Laws. He had the, he had the, uh, he had the cast back in the day. We called him Cowboy Kenny for a while with that. Now we got Cowboy Jaden. Cowboy Zook. We've got to come up with a nickname for that one. Love it. And for the young folks, if you don't know, we'll tell you who Cowboy Bob Wharton was in a minute. Throw by Severe. And almost picked off by Claxton. Good defensive play. Excellent read there. And it's going to be coming up on third and long here. Yeah, so Cowboy Bob Orton, WWE Hall of Famer and father of one Randy Orton, who also Randy Orton with the wrestling move RKO. And we have RJ Dillbone on our team. I used to call him RJO when he was on my football team as a middle schooler. Well, absolutely love that kid. Looking to throw. He's getting in some cramped corners. He does make a completed pass. It is going to be a short gain of about three yards, and so it will be fourth down. Not enough. Well short of the first down marker. 
and my apologies once again folks for the camera work I just don't have my trusty my trusty team tonight Tori Geller Alexis Keener and Avery Duncan they absolutely bring the heat when it comes to the camera action they do a great job for the Fremont broadcasts high kick taken down at the 30 good block and Flynn gets out to about the 38 yard line good return and first and 10 coming up for your Eagles Lonsbury Garage, Fremont grads Stephen Carroll and John Kaufman offer quality service at a low, low price. 208 Mechanic in Angola, 665-5165. You know, Travis Williamson, Stephen Carroll, John Kaufman, all Fremont grads and have all left the phenomenal education of Fremont Community Schools to just do some phenomenal things. And we love the fact they give back, and they give back so often. Oh, we got ourselves a little hanky. Not many hankies tonight, folks. And it's going against the Eagles. They're going to move them back five yards. But, yeah, I'll tell you, it's always wonderful when you see the, the see kids graduate and when they are adults, and then they do a fantastic job with giving back to the community. And certainly... Travis Williamson, Realtor, and Lonsbury Garage with Stefan and John. They absolutely fit that bill to a T, to the letter. So, first and 15 coming up. Give, spin. Gets about five, maybe six now on that play for Flynn. 9.45 left here in the third quarter. 33 to zero in favor of the Fremont Eagles. A lot of game to play here, but got to imagine at this point, this is probably going to be a Fremont W. The JV football team, Fremont's JV will have their first game of the season. And that'll be Thursday night at 530 as they travel to North Central Ohio. Flynn with the run again. Couple dodges and a first down run. Move those chains. And takes them to the Prairie Heights side of the field as the man in the white hat with authority. Says first down Eagles. Yeah, so we wish our JV football squad well. And it's always good to be able to give the sideline guys some opportunities to get some play on the field. As of this moment, there are three home and three road games on the JV slate. And you can check out the JV slate and the 7th and 8th grade slate, for that matter, at FremontEaglesFootball.com. Cole Clazier, nice move, a little pinball action there. Bing, 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 bing. And he gets close to a first, maybe he has the first. And yes, they will move those chains. Oh, no, I lied. No, they're not. <laughs> Nine and a half yards. So second short coming up. Got some girls golf news here in just a moment coming up after this play tight formation keeper first down and more and Cole Glazier gets a nice chunk of yardage on that and I'll tell you what folks that's something that I really really like seeing is our Fremont line just setting the tone for what's going to happen out there that was about a five or a six yard carry there and you can give that credit to the guys in the trenches the big uglies but I'm gonna rename that that's the big handsomes got some great studs up there I love it good kids all around I'll tell you our our leaders in senior class and juniors 
and trickling all the way down. We got some great, great kids. Nice throw out. Now a little backward pass. It is complete, but not anywhere to go there. And a loss of one, maybe two on the play. So, so that brings up second and 12 coming up. 6.50 left in the third quarter. The girls golf team, the Lady Eagles, are now 7-1 and one overall and still undefeated in the NECC. What a phenomenal start to the season for them. And uh, Coach Wyrick is doing a great job. Looking to throw. Nice play on the dump off screen. First down as Parson gets the first. Beautiful play. Sheets with the tackle. The boys tennis team, the Eagles hosted Bethany Christian last night and won three to two against Bethany Christian. And uh, it's Fremont's first win over Bethany since 2011. It's been nine years. Bethany known for being a high quality, tough team to play in tennis. So congrats to the boys and then they also got a 5-0 win over Central Noble the day before. So our boys tennis team doing a great job. Look at this run. Flynn with a first down run. 11 yards again for the Eagles. Now we're close to the 10 yard, we'll call it 12 yard line here. The clock will stop temporarily. 5.36 left in the third quarter. The Fremont tennis team heads to Bremen tomorrow morning, or this morning if you're watching it on Saturday. The Bremen Invitational, so go Eagles. Give up the middle there, nice play. And great blocking, nice fake all the way around. I'll tell you, Fremont's execution has been fantastic tonight. They have just really, really done a good job of, of being able to make things look very smooth. Second and two coming up. The ball at the four-yard line, looks like here. Volleyball, the Lady Eagles host Fairfield tomorrow afternoon at 1.30. Saturday afternoon at 1.30, so let's go. Lady Eagles volleyball squad. Run, and is he in? Nope, down at the one. Flynn with the carry. And so that is enough to get a fresh set of downs. So first and goal at the one. going on trying to stop the clock they're still running the clock they're trying to get the clock to stop and they still are running the clock <laughs> they're still running the clock they finally stopped the clock with 329 left in the third quarter all right well And the keeper, and a touchdown from Cameron Cole Clazier. Great job, Eagles. That is now 39-0. Pending the PAT. 
and Robert Skrupski back on the field. And the kick is up, and it is good! Nice job, and Fremont just continues their dominance tonight here at Hubert Klein Field. Your Fremont Eagles lead Prairie Heights 40 to zero, 2.38 left in the third quarter. You're watching Fremont Eagles football on Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and FremontEaglesFootball.com. GW's Butcher Block, whether it's chicken, pork, beef, seafood, sausage, snacks, sticks, or jerky, they offer consistent quality above all else. At 103 East Toledo and Fremont, 517-278-2787. A&J Alternators and Starters, Coach Reitz has you covered, whether it's self-storage, alternator, or starter repair, or rebuilding, or U-Haul rental. You can stop by and see them at 1188 State Road 120 in Fremont, 495-1655. Beams Funeral Home, celebrating life with dignity. A Fremont fixture for decades and supporters of Eagle Pride at 495-2915. And the Old Mill Village, it is one of a kind, folks. Host the wedding or event of your dreams. Schedule your event or wedding for... 2021, the year 2021, they're booking right now. Call Isaac and Dion Packnett at 480, area code 480-283-7501. Old Mill Village. Fantastic. There's the moon, folks. Moons and a little star there to boot. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right. Fremont Eagles lead 40 to 0 here at Brushy Prairie. And the kick. Short. Taking about the 28 yard line. And finally brought down at about the 43. Yeah, that was shocky, I believe, on the return. All right. They're calling it shocky, and I believe they're right. I don't have a way to prove them wrong. So there you go. First and 10 coming up for the Panthers. Cross country teams are going to be coming right here to Brushy Prairie tomorrow morning or this morning, depending on when you're watching it, 9 a.m. for the Panther Invitational, one of the largest cross-country meets in northern Indiana. My daughter was a cross-country runner back in sixth grade. I remember coming out here, and it was like pandemonium. Absolute, just hundreds and hundreds of people and com or competitors, and it was really quite the experience. Roll out, and Severe is going to be tackled after a gain of only one. Second and nine coming up. I want to give a big shout out to all our fans up there in the stands coming out and supporting the Fremont Eagles. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. We're approaching one minute left here in the third quarter. Second and nine. Looking to throw. Oh, and complete. And knocked out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. That's going to be a first down for the Panthers. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. We got a little conversation there. Oh, penalty against Prairie Heights. And so it will be. All right, there we go. It's going to be a walk off of five yards. So a first down is negated. 
And that's a bummer for Heights there. But that will be the end of the third quarter as Fremont dominating Prairie Heights here at Hubert Klein Field at the end of three. Fremont 40, Prairie Heights zero. You're watching Fremont Football on Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook and Fremont Eagles Football. Dot com. Whoa. Oh, where's my camera going? All right. Just a great game all around for the Eagles. Need some help? Big props, this entire football team right here. Big game ball salute from your tr yours truly to these Fremont Eagles. Three quarters in the books. Fremont leads Prairie Heights 40 to zero. We still got one frame left to play. My bet will be there'll be a lot of fresh jerseys playing tonight. We got a, even though there's a JV game next week, this is the quarter where you get a lot of those fresh jerseys in because you get five quarters a week. On both sides here, you'll be seeing some different folks with an opportunity. Oh, severe. Oh, almost a sack. He gets away. And finally brought down at about the 46-yard line. What was going to be a huge loss in the sack turns into a gain of about three on the play. Or pardon me, a gain of eight on the play because of the five-yard penalty a few moments ago. NCAA football, heard this earlier on ESPN, the Big Ten is looking, they're examining the potential of starting their season at Thanksgiving and playing one or more games thereafter and then taking a break and then coming back and having more games when the spring or at least after the winter break. Not sure if that's going to happen or not, but that's, a, that's at least what they're talking about. Nice little pitch and catch there. Gain of about six on the play. That'll make it now. Coming up to fourth and two on the play. I don't know. I know the thing is here with this whole COVID stuff, folks, you gotta get creative. You gotta try to make anything happen. And you wanna see kids play, whether it's the middle level, the high school level, the college level, and beyond. I mean, you just you wanna see them play. You wanna be safe. You wanna keep your Keep your social distancing when necessary and take all your precautions when necessary. But at the same time, you like to see everybody get a chance to play. And I know a lot of the Big Ten folks were, uh, players were very frustrated when they canceled the season. And so maybe this is a good opportunity to compromise and get a little action here and uh, not have the fall be all for naught here. Severe rolling out, looks to throw, complete, and a first down and more. And a great play for Heights. Quentin Ross with the reception from Severe. First down, Prairie Heights. Ross good for about 21 yards. Ooh, Sheila McRae with the call, 21 yards. Nice catch there. Also speaking of NCAA football, the first games, official games of the year will be Thursday. Now, these might not be teams that you normally follow, folks, but hey, it's college football. So Thursday night, South Alabama at Southern Mississippi, 8 p.m. on CBS Sports Network. I'll get to the other one on Thursday here in a second. Carey, can he get around the corner? He does, and he gets to the sidelines before finally knocked out. And Hall will have close to a first. Let's see, it's going to be... Looks like it's going to be about two yards short of the first down. 
So second and two coming up. The other game on the slate next Thursday night is Central Arkansas at Alabama Birmingham UAB. Now Central Arkansas is a is an FCS school and all the FCS schools or conferences I should say canceled football this year, but some of the conferences allowed the opportunity. I'll get to that more in a second. Oh, nice play. A first down and more into the secondary. Nice play for Ross. And it's going to be first and goal coming up for the Panthers. We are now down under eight minutes left. First and goal, ball at the seven yard line. Nice play by the Panthers on that one. If you're the Fremont Eagles though, you're just like, oh, we want to get the shutout, we want to get the shutout. So this defense, if they want that shutout, they're gonna have to stop them now. At any rate, so Central Arkansas is one of those teams that opted to play some ball despite the fact their conference is shuttered for the fall. And so they will. Looking to throw, he's gonna roll. He's gotta get it away, and oh! He gets it into the pause, but not caught by number 14, and Jaden Zuccolato with quite a stick over there. Totally legal, good hit. And so now it's going to be second and seven coming up. And if you're keeping score at home, folks, back to college football a minute. Next week, the opening weekend of the college football season, normally that weekend was going to have over 80 games featuring FBS teams. That's the top level of college football. Over 80 of them were scheduled originally. And now there are nine Nine games, two on Thursday, six on Saturday, and one more on, I believe it's Monday night. Roll out severe and too short and low and incomplete. Bringing up third down and goal here, coming up. NFL, the opening game of the season will be September 10th as the Houston Texans travel to Kansas City as the Chiefs receive their rings. So Patrick Mahomes and the squad getting their getting their rings for winning the Super Bowl. Big congrats to them. I think that means it's the Lions year. At least that's what I'm hoping. We say that every year, folks. Talk a little MLB here in a moment as well. Third and goal. Severe with a pitch. It's got some decent blocking. Oh, but sneaking through, Claxton. Woo, baby. What a play. Nice job. And that's now going to be fourth down, and that's way back at the 11 now. Major League Baseball, the AL Central is quite tight here, folks. The Twins have the lead, but the Indians and White Sox both sit uh, only a half game out. I kind of like this 60-game season. It kind of makes it really interesting all the way. Of course, if you're a baseball purist, you're already mad at me. Well, it's interesting all the time. Okay, okay, settle down, settle down. It would be more interesting, though, if the Tigers were in it, I'll be honest. But it's not their year again. Fourth down play, severe, rolling, rolling, throw. Oh, incomplete, great opportunity. I like the play call, it just didn't quite work out and the Fremont Eagles will take over at their own 11 yard line here. That's the thing I like about this Prairie High squad, never give up. Go out there and you keep plugging away and like I said before, folks, we certainly know what it's like to be on the receiving end of a score like this, and so we get it, we understand, but we just certainly absolutely love the fact that the Panthers 
have no quit. Still going out there, playing their best. Double tight. Give. Good play. Nice run for Parson. First down, Eagles. Move those chains. Move those chains, by the way, is a little moniker from Central Michigan. Fire up chips. And that goes out to Ken Fillmore, sports writer for Herald Republican. And also that goes out to Coach Trevor Thomas, who is a Central Michigan grad and former Chippewa player, who's now in red and black over here. We love it. The Cubbies are 18 and 12 overall. They have a nice three game lead over St. Louis in the NL Central. So if you're a Cub fan, you gotta be happy. And if you're a Cardinals fan, they're sitting at 500. So only three games out at 500. That certainly is something to say here. We got a timeout on the field. And it's gonna be Fremont with a timeout with 2.36 left here before the end of this ball game. NHL, well, we're down to the final eight in the NHL, and folks, there's not a single team from the Midwest that's in this thing. Absolute bummer. But if you're a hockey fan, you just love hockey, hey, you got to love these matchups. In the East, Philadelphia and New York, the uh, Islanders, they're knotted up one game apiece. Tampa Bay and Boston, Tampa Bay leads Boston two games to one. And by the way, uh, Trevor Thomas, assistant coach for Fremont, his uh, his uncle Tim Thomas played for the Boston Bruins when they won. He was in goal when they won the uh, Stanley Cup back in the day, a few years ago. And the West, Vegas against Vancouver, that one knotted up one to one. And Dallas leads Colorado two games to one. That's going into tonight, so don't have any updates as of this very moment. And the NBA playoffs resume tomorrow. And what a great Eastern Conference semifinal matchup. Boston and Toronto. That, the defending champs. I'll tell you what, Toronto, I think a lot of people wrote Toronto off after losing Kawhi Leonard to free agency. And they look really strong. They could win the championship just as much as anybody else could. So that Boston and Toronto series is going to be something. Clock starts on the snap. And loss on the play. Two-yard loss. 225. Want to give a big shout-out one last time here as we get down to the last couple minutes of this ball game. To our sponsors, Eagle One Stop, your pregame and postgame headquarters, whether it's pizza, subway, chicken, or Eagle Bread, give them a call, 495-3110. DQ Grill and Chill, get the printable coupon on our website that saves 20%, folks. And you can only use it if it's printed, and you can only use it at 1303 North Wayne in Angola. That's DQ Grill and Chill, 319-4436. We'll get to the others here in a moment. Motion. Nice run. Gain of about four, make it five. Nice play as the pile continues to move. Good five yard. So third and six coming up. Travis Williamson, as a Fremont grad, Travis Williamson knows Lake Country Realty. Let him help you out. Give him a call, 316-5564. Lonsbury Garage, Fremont Grad, Stephen Carroll and John Kaufman offer quality service at a low price. 208 Mechanic in Angola, 665-5165. GW's Butcher Block. Whether it's chicken, pork, beef, seafood, sausage, snack, sticks, or jerky, they offer consistent quality above all at 103 East Toledo in Fremont, 517-278-278-7. A&J Alternators and Starters. Coach Reitz has you covered. Whether it's self-storage, alternator and starter repair, or U-Haul rental, 1188 State Road 120, 495, 1655. Beams Funeral Home, celebrating life with dignity. A Fremont fixture for decades and supporters of Eagle Pride, 495, 2915. And Old Mill Shops, make your 2021 reservation right now. Oh, a little bit of problems there holding the ball, and it's going to be a loss on the play. And so Fremont's going to lose just about all the yardage they just gained. Last play of the game coming up here, possibly. 
Yeah, Beams, oh, I should say Old Mill Shops again. Host the wedding or event of your dreams. Get your schedule in for the year 2021 right now. Call Isaac and Dion Packnett at area code 480-283-7501. And I'll tell you what, folks, that is going to be it. And there's your final score, folks. Fremont has defeated Prairie Heights. The rival Prairie Heights Panthers on their field, 40 to zero. Absolutely proud of our Eagles tonight for an, a phenomenal effort. And I'll tell you what, what a great game it was for the Eagles as they get the big W here against their rivals now, folks. Remember, this is this is matchup one of two. There's going to be another one coming up here in about seven weeks, six, seven weeks. And trust me, the Prairie Heights Panthers will be absolutely ready and geared up for that. They would like to return the favor, if at all possible, when they come to Fremont at that time. There are the Eagles in celebration, folks. This is a non-conference game, but it still means something. It still matters. It still counts. It's still on the, on the board. Look at this, folks. Absolutely beautiful display. Absolutely love it. Love to see the enthusiasm and spirit of our Fremont Eagles, folks. Again, without rubbing it in because we've been on the receiving side of that in the past, just got to take a lot of pride in seeing that. You know, Fremont has not won big games like this. It's been a while since Fremont's got a big route like this, and to get it against your rival and to get it against your rival on their home field that's something special i'll tell you what these seniors are going to take that with them for the rest of their lives and say you know i remember when we got a big big win against our rival on their home field when i was a senior 40 to nothing great pride in that now remember fremont they want to do this a second time they're going to be hosting uh, prairie heights that'll be week eight coming up in october You'll want to definitely tune in for that one. We will have that one live. And speaking of live broadcast, folks, we're going to close out with this. Just want to let you know our next live broadcast will be next Friday as Fremont hosts Antwerp, Ohio. That will be a 7 p.m. kickoff. And we will be live on Fremont Athletics Live on Facebook. We, we will be ready to rock on that, folks. And certainly in archive format thereafter on Fremont Eagles football.com so once again the final score from brushy prairie fremont 40 prairie heights zero you've been watching fremont eagles football on fremont athletics live on facebook and fremont eagles football.com have a great night everybody